Right away, I crossed myself and took a swig of gin, making like an armadillo, curled around the jug. If they're gonna give me a lick or two, I said this is as good a time as any. I slipped off my spurs so I could fight easier. I rolled up my pants and made my sash good and snug, and on a tuft of grass, I tested the edge of my knife. Just so I'd have him handy. I tied my horse to a clump of grass, fixed his cinch, and that moment of danger backed him up, backed up against him, and waited for him real quiet. When I felt him close by, I knew they'd come to a stop. My hair stood on end, and even though I couldn't see a thing, you're not gonna die of a whim, I said as they moved up. I wanted to let them know that there was a real man there. I knew what they wanted, and just because of that, I beat him to the draw and didn't wait for the call to give up. You're a gaucho outlaw, said one, acting tough. You killed a black man and another guy in a bar. And this here's the police that's come to settle accounts. We're gonna get you good if you put up a fight. I said, don't come to me with stories about dead people. That doesn't matter a damn. Come and get me, if you can. Cause I'm not about to give up, even if you come at me all at once. But they didn't wait anymore, and they tumbled off their horses like I was a wild dog. They surrounded me. I put myself in the hands of the saints and grabbed hold of my blade. And then I seen this flash from a rifle shot. But the bad luck of that spineless coward made him miss me. And right there I lifted him on my knife just like a sardine. Another one was hurrying to land a bola shot. And I went for him just once and let him feel some steel. And away he went like a dog whose tail's been stepped on. They were so worked up and so hot to get me that they all came at me just where I was waiting for them. They were falling all over one another, blind with excitement. Two of them, who had swords, were more confident and bold. With ponchos wrapped around their arms, they came up right in front of me and lunged for me at the same time like a couple of dogs on the loose. I pulled the trick of backing up and dropping my poncho in front of me. As soon as he puts his foot on it, this one stupid guy, I give it a sudden jerk and send him flat on his ass. When he saw he was alone, the other one backed off. Then I went for him. Without giving him a chance to catch his breath, but he didn't care to fight and took off like a bitch in heat. One of them had a cane with a shearer's blade tied to it. And he came at me like I was a hitching rail for calves. But I gave him two well-placed jabs and he took on howling. At that moment, by luck, Daylight was coming, and I said, If I'm saved this time by the Virgin, from now on, I swear I'll live a good life. I waited amongst them and began to tangle unafraid. I stayed in a low crouch as a pair of them came at me. All along the ground, I drew the tip of my knife to lead them on. The first glutton for punishment came down on me with a slash. I pushed it aside with my arm, since if I hadn't, he'd have killed my lice. Before he could take another step, I threw dirt in his two eyes. And while he was shaking his head and rubbing his eyes, I went straight for him and gave it to him fast. May God help you, I said, as I dropped him with a backhand slash. But right then I felt along my ribs a sword was tickling me. And my blood ran cold. From then on, I was a wild man. I backed up a few steps to get some footing in front of me. I was trading jabs and slashes with a criollo. Suddenly he stepped in a hole, and to the hole I sent him. In his heart, maybe a blessed saint touched one of the gauchos, who cried out and said, Cruz won't stand for this. I won't let you bastards kill a brave man like this. And so then he joined with me and fought against the police. I charged at them again, and between the two of us it was a steal. This guy Cruz fought like a wolf defending his den. He sent off to hell one of the two who rushed him, the rest of them went into a spin, since we were getting the upper hand, and in a little while they scattered like a bunch of worms. There, stretched out before us, was the one whose snouts we'd stiffened. To another one who was wobbling off, Cruz shouted from behind, Get some more police to come with a cart and haul them away.